Dennis Kappel of Kappel Training and Shoeing. Today we're going to talk to you about some suppling exercises. The reason that I'm on the ground right now is I wanted to show how with a fresh horse, with this horse is fresh, how the groundwork that I do with them will carry over to the back and it will all pertain to softening and suppling your animal. I'm going to start this horse on a circle around me and when I take my hand like this, it's not the pointing of my hand that makes him come around. It is, in fact, taking the slack out of the lead rope and he feels it on the halter that is going to cause him to start moving his feet. When he passes me right here, then I'm, then I'm going to step in and walk with him as he's going along here, just about where my left leg would be if I was riding this horse. So I want this horse to stay shaped up, kind of in a banana type shape as he's going around. And uh, so that he's looking where he's going. When he gets over here behind me, I'm going to step from behind the shoulder to in front of it. And when I do that, I expect him to stay parallel to me like he did. And then I want him to back up on the same circle that he was going forward on. I had to move his shoulder over a bit to achieve that. So he's, he's pretty fresh here, so I'm gonna just let him use up some energy. Get stopped. Every time I, I do something different, I like to have just a little bit of pause between what I was doing and the next thing. So I had him going forward, then I stopped. He stopped pretty nicely. Then he, he actually backed up on his own, which is what I wanted there. But I need that shoulder to move over slightly to the right as he's backing so that he's backing on the same plane that he was going forward. And I'm going to stop, and I'm going to send him forward again. So this, in a sense, is a body softening exercise in reverse. So he's picking his shoulder slightly up to the right as he's moving backwards. Then when I stop, he stops and relaxes. And then I'll send him forward. Get stopped. Back up. Now, the reason that I do this with him is because I don't really want the horse knowing what's going to happen next. I don't want any anticipation in, uh, in other words, I don't want him to get ahead of me. So we've been going forward, stop, and back. So I'm going to change the game here a little bit and change the direction on him. Softly let him go there, and then I'll step in. Now I'm, now I'm essentially my right leg if I was riding him. So I'll ask him to stop. Ask him to move backwards, move that shoulder off just a little bit this time to his left. Pick those withers up. See, this, this allows the horse some time to utilize his back end to pick the front end up, which is what we're going to need when we're traveling forward. Send him forward again. Ask him to get stopped. Then back up. Move that shoulder over. And when he stops, see he moved his feet right there. So he's telling me that he's anticipating moving, turning to, the, to his right this time. So I'm gonna step up there and move his front end around. I might take it all the way around here. Just move them shoulders all the way around. Then send him forward. Anytime anticipation shows up, I'll change the game there. Now look how even his legs are underneath his body. He's standing, now he's moving his feet, he's anticipating turning back the other direction. So I'll set it up again. Get stopped. When he stopped like that, mentally he's not thinking about going left or right. He's just there. And that's the, that's the attitude and the mindset 
that I want this horse to be in as I'm handling him here. Now I'm going to change direction, send him forward. He's anticipating the stop now, so I'm going to send him on. This time I'm going to take his hip away, move his hip out of the way, and have him face up. So I, I do want my horses to face up, but I, I need for it to be at my call, not just because that's the thing where they go to get relief. So from here, I've got options. I can go left, forward, get stopped, back up, just go forward, move the hip. Bring the front end all the way around. Have him move that front end around. Here I'm going to toss the lead rope over his head and have him change eyes, change direction, and let him just start floating. And that's the mindset that. I'm ultimately trying to achieve when I do groundwork so that that horse is just there eagerly waiting on me to tell him what to do next. The groundwork that we just completed there needs to carry over to the back in order to be effective. Groundwork to just be doing groundwork is probably better off to not be done. So just think about the positioning that I was in as I moved that horse around out there, and I would position myself so that my body on the ground was performing the same function that my body would be doing, my leg would be doing if I was on his back. So, and I was paying attention to how this horse, this horse's posture was, how he was position in his body because the posture was telling me what he was thinking about doing next. So if, if I saw anticipation by the shoulder dropping in or, or feet moving or something on the ground, I can see it and I could can address it in order to, in order to get this horse to do what I wanted him to do. And uh, so when you're, when you're on your back, your eyesight then transfers to feel. That's how we, we need to see <laughs> through the contact that we have with our seat and our legs what we had been physically watching with our eyes on the ground. So that's how the groundwork transfers from the ground to the back to make it functional, useful, and make it safe for you to get on that horse. Because we, I, I don't know about you all, but I like to know if that horse is ready to get on before I get on not get on and think, oh my goodness, he wasn't ready for me to get on. So the groundwork is a, is a preparatory thing for me that I, that I utilize for safety. And also I can help establish a little more respect from the ground often. And I can build trust from the ground at the same time. So I, I increase both of those elements that are essential to good communication with your horse.